Bad men cannot make good citizens. It is impossible that a nation of infidels and idolaters should be a nation of free men. It is when a people forget God that tyrants forge their chains. A vitiated state of morals, a corrupted public conscience is incompatible with freedom. No free government or the blessing of liberty can be preserved to any people but by a firm adherence to justice, moderation, temperance, frugality, and virtue, and by a frequent recurrence to fundamental principles. Patrick Henry. Welcome back, patriots. Welcome to Sons of Liberty 1773. This is indeed where men and women from around the world come in defense of liberty. I'm your host, Bill Bailey, who will be channeling the patriotism of America's founding fathers. So um, let's jump right to it, folks. I uh, want to um, uh, give a hat tip to Matthew Renfro, a uh, community member here, who asked in a community post, are, are people familiar with the fifth column? And I was not. I had to look it up. And uh, it applies more today than it ever has, this uh, term. And when you learn what it means, you're, gonna, you're going to agree with me. So let's jump right into it. Um, this is at Wikipedia. Fifth column. A fifth column is a group of people who undermine a larger group or nation from within, usually in favor of an enemy group or another nation, CCP. According to Harris, Milonis and Scott Radnitz, fifth columns are domestic actors who work to undermine the national interest in cooperation with external rivals of the state. The activities of the fifth column can be overt or clandestine. Forces gather in secret, can be mobilized openly to assist in external attacks. The term is also extended to organized actions by military personnel. Clandestine fifth column activities can involve acts of sabotage, disinformation, espionage, and or terrorism executed within defense lines by secret sympathizers with an external force. Like Joe Biden and the CCP. The exact, the exact origins of the term are not clear. Its first known appearance is in a secret telegram dated September 30th, 1936, that was sent to Berlin by German Charge d'Affaires in Hans Hermann Volkers in the telegram. He referred to an, un an unidentified uh, supposed statement by Franco that is being circulated apparently in the Republican zone or in the Republic-held Levantine zone. And he suggests that in that statement, Franco had claimed that there were four nationalist columns approaching Madrid and a fifth column waiting to attack from the inside. So again, a fifth column is any group of people who undermined a larger group or nation from within, usually in favor of an enemy group or another nation. Uh, certainly applies right now, right? Um, and these are some World War II era posters. I found some copies of them online. You can see the vulture here is the fifth column and its claws are leaking blood on the gravestone. The bird thrives on sabotage. Here lies a country that was not prepared. France, Norway, Belgium, and Holland felt its claws. The funeral services were held later. You are a production soldier. America's first line of defense is here. Then the other one, it says, appreciate America. Stop the fifth column. Liberty, unity, justice, equality. And you see this guy's got bigotry, um, foreign propaganda, sabotage that's pushing over the column. Then at the bottom it says red is for courage, white for honor, blue for justice. So um, we need to make this term famous again and uh, to educate people because there's a lot of fifth columns working against this country. Fifth columns in our government. Uh, fifth columns, columns in our judiciary, fifth columns in our state political parties, fifth columns in our schools and, and college campuses, fifth columns that I believe are walking into this country from the, across the open southern border and probably hiding on the Chinese land that's being bought. Um, so when the real war starts, um, it's going to, it's, you know, this next war, um, you know, we've been lucky, the battlefields you know, not counting the Civil War, the Revolutionary War and such. 
have been on foreign lands, right? Um, other than, you know, Pearl Harbor was attacked, obviously. Um, but I think this next time it's going to be different. So uh, keep your powder dry and keep lots of it. Um, so that was good. So thanks again, uh, Matthew Rin Rinfro, for sharing that with the community. And I hope uh, everybody start using this, you know, the fifth column. We've got to uh, stop the fifth column, right? Uh, so let's move on here. Let's let's go to, um, I have a piece here I want to share from James O'Keefe. He is back hitting on all cylinders. They didn't even slow him down. Uh, O'Keefe Media Group has a YouTube channel. It is OMG. So let's listen to what's going on here. Uh, let me see if my headphones will fit over my tri-corner. Looks like they will, kind of. Here we go. But maybe the camera's a truth serum. But does it sound about right that there's been 18,000 contributions? Absolutely not. For the... For Absolutely not. In the amount of like $170,000? Absolutely not. Really? Yes. Okay. So that's not you doing that? No, it's not. But, yes. but, but do, 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 does the frequency ring a bell that you're donating that much every like 10 times a day sometimes? No. 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 Do you think someone is maybe fraudulently um, well, debiting your be. accounts or something? They must be. AppBlue is the one I use for political right. donations. Yep. And I do not make that kind of political donations. Right. Uh, so right here. Um, yeah, it's 18,672 different contributions that total an amount of one hundred and seventy thousand dollars and two hundred and twenty one cents. No, 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 no. So I'm about to call Garland Riggs. He's the excessive small amount donor. Uh, Thirty one thousand seventy three individual contributions were made uh, under his address. He's 80 years old. He lives on the outskirts of D.C. So many people across the country. I'm going to call him and see if I can make a contribution in his name and see how he responds. He's either a victim of some type of conspiracy or he's a culprit himself. A lot of these phone numbers are available on white pages, on Google, and other apps where you can find people's phone numbers and information. Hey there, Mr. Riggs. Yes. James O'Keefe, just asking about those contributions we spoke on the phone. Um, have you donated to Act Blue in the past? I don't believe so. You, you're listed as someone who's given um, over 31,000 individual contributions to to various causes for a total of $230,000 using your name and this address. No, that's that's not us. That's not you. No. Nope. Have you ever donated to to Act Blue? Or I think my wife has, but but nowhere near. Are you that's aware that people are using your, your name? No. Have you donated to Act Blue in the past? I don't believe so. You, you're listed as someone who's given um, over 31,000 individual contributions to to various causes for a total of $230,000 using your name and this address. How much did you donate to Act Blue? Uh, so would you say a thousand a year? Probably not. Not a thousand. Not a thousand? Would the FEC records say that you've given two hundred thirty thousand dollars? No. It, it appears that someone else may be committing a crime using your address. I'll email you that information. Okay. So, um, James O'Keefe, on it, look at this is how they are funneling billions and billions of dark dial, dark money, right? Uh, totally illegal, you know, illegally. Um, I mean, the campaign violations here are off the chart. Uh, Democrats cheat, folks. I mean, we're, they place, you know, smash mouth, right? Uh, they don't care who they trample on. They don't care about the laws. They don't care who gets hurt. It's, it's all about winning at all cost. Um, and when they don't get their way, uh, you know, they start burning stuff and, you know, throwing a, throwing a hissy fit. Um, they're dirty bastards, you know. And... Um, I don't know what happens now that he's exposed this, that Act Blue was doing this, you know, using, they'll find people that donate. Look at people like this small town America. If they give 100 or 200 a campaign cycle for most, that's a lot. Suddenly they're giving eight donations a day, 15, 30 a day for months on end. Um, and uh, I can't believe that this wasn't, 
found out. I, I don't know why this didn't trip some red flags, but um, then I'm reading this, and, and this goes in lockstep with this uh, at the Gateway Pundit exclusive. In 2022, Michigan Governor Whitmer received 18 million in 185,000 separate donations with a significant amount from campaign finance mules. Michigan uh, Governor Gretchen Whitmer received a surprising large number of small donor donations in her 2022 campaign raise. $18,469,000 from a total of 185,556 donations, uh, averaging about 100 a donation. But I guarantee what James O'Keefe was showing is more than likely exactly what was going on with her as well. And you know what, what the Democrats are are you know giving honest money you know democrat donors then you got the 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 the, the left wing globalist billionaires that want to destroy america and put their people in place that are funneling dark money through these groups like act blue to their candidates then on the republican ticket we were starving for money because the big republican donors do not like america first candidates which tells me they don't really like america um so while we were, our candidates were starving for money, uh, the Democrats were swimming in it. Uh, it's really disgusting. I hope something's done, but, you know, we're living in an upside down, lawless world right now, lawless society. And um, here's a little good news, folks. QAnon shaman Jacob Chansley released from prison to halfway house. Uh, I, you know, I think they should have just released him from prison. He's a free man. Why does he need to go to a halfway house? Uh, it's stupid. And uh, thankfully, thankful to Kevin McCarthy that he released all the January 6 footage and that Tucker Carlson got to go through it. And they found these clips showing that the uh, false narrative by the January 6 um, group, you know, chair or board or whatever, uh, was all BS, which we knew. And they had to release them. And this is like, you know, the, the headhunters on the January 6 committee. This was the big one. Uh, so if he's if he if if it's all BS with him, I think they need to let them all go. They need to financially take care of these families uh, and this young man who have been brutalized by a tyrannical government. Two of the January six uh, prisoners, political de de detainees, were um, <clears throat> so brutalized they committed suicide. I mean they've they've lost their businesses. Maybe their marriage, uh, you know, the lives are turned upside down. Trump said he's going to pardon him if he gets elected. I believe he will. And I want to see him financially compensated for this sin. And then let's go after the feds that were there leading the way, uh, the true insurrectionist, and let's hold them accountable and take everything from them and put them in prison. Let's, don't, don't we just thirst for true justice in this country? Just doesn't exist anymore. Um, living in um, the most frightening times uh, that I've lived in and the most perilous times for the America and the world as, as far as I'm concerned, just because of the weaponry, that humanity, um, you know, doomsday weapon weaponry that uh, humanity possesses now. And then um, White House orders all Americans residing or traveling in Russia to depart immediately after Wall Street Journal reporter arrested. The White House on Thursday ordered all Americans residing or traveling in Russia to depart immediately. Russia arrested an American Wall Street journalist or journal reporter, Wall Street Journal reporter on espionage charges. The Wall Street Journal vehemently den denies the allegations from the uh, FSB and seeks the immediate release of uh, their trusted and uh, dedicated reporter, Ivan Gerskovich. So there's that. And, you know, this is what happens, folks, before you go into full kinetic warfare. Countries remove their dignitaries from each other's side. You know, America calls theirs back. Russia calls theirs back. Then they tell the citizens to get out of the country immediately. And then the bombs start dro dropping. Um, and, you know, Biden's leading us into World War III. Um, I think he's the... Um, devil's protege. Um, he's an evil person. I do not like the Bidens or the Biden crime family. And then um, gun control activists stormed Tennessee state capitol in Nashville after trans shaman 
led occupation of Kentucky legislature amid fears of left-wing uprising ahead of Saturday's Trans Day of Vengeance. Uh, folks, that looks like a, um, that looks like insurrectionist to me, doesn't it? I think maybe they should arrest them and, you know, put a board together and start incarcerating them with no right to speedy trial, uh, you know, suspend all their constitutional rights and throw them in a, um, Jail cell that's got no heat and has overflowing sewer systems and uh, see how they like it. Um, but, you know, a disturbed child that was dealing with mental issues on drugs um, lost it and, and went and shot up some Christians, innocent Christians in a Christian school. Uh, and um, they're not, you know, the left isn't talking about them all oh, we. We feel so bad for the trans community. Uh, you know, Christianity, I mean, these are end time things. You know, they said Christians would be hated and despised and hunted down and murdered, you know, kind of in the end times. And we're kind of there. Uh, so that's that. Uh, and that is over at the Daily Mail. Is that the Gateway Pundit? Seymour Hirsch, the reporter that... Um, uh, delivered the earth-shattering uh, story that America blew up the um, Nord Stream 2, uh, says the USA returned to Nord Stream explosion site to remove unexploded bomb. I probably believe that, that America's hiding the evidence. They don't want to give Putin any more reasons to start um, doing seem you know, striking back against America. I mean, tit for tat. I thought he'd already have cut some of our ocean internet lines and maybe a cyber attack on the uh, grid um, or worse, an EMP weapon, which would lead to World War III, but um, that's where we're heading anyways. Netanyahu proclaims Israel's a sovereign country after Biden regime is accused of sponsoring violent insurrection this week. Uh, I believe the Obama administration, the globalists and the leftists are, you know, pulling Biden strings, but... Um, they do not like the conservative right-wing government that's in charge in Israel, and they're trying to figure out, you know, they're sore losers. Um, and, they, and they don't, you know, first they try to cheat to win, and when they can't win by cheating, uh, you know, they go into um, insurrectionist mode. Uh, I mean, it's what it looks like to me. If you think I'm wrong, talk to me in the comments. And there he is right there, the um, devil himself. Uh, after his destructive U.S. policies and denigrating the United States abroad, remember he went on the apology tour, Obama goes to Australia to make a million giving speeches. Um, so Australia, my friends uh, down under, please keep them down there, would you? Um, you know, you can have them. Uh, certainly you can find a use for them, I hope. Uh, we don't want them back. Uh, Merrick Garland caught lying under oath. No surprise here. Uh, these people are just criminals on the left. I mean, and they get away with it because they know they own the judiciary and that they're not going to get in trouble. Merrick Garland caught lying under oath, exposed for telling U.S. Marshals not to arrest leftist protesters outside SCOTUS Justice's home, which is a felony. You cannot um, protest in, in the... Um, Supreme Court justices home or property. But so he doesn't do that, but calls for 1,000 more arrest of Trump supporters standing outside U.S. Capitol on January 6th. Uh, Merrick Garland is a treasonous bastard. And um, I know what I think they should do with him, but he should be held for trial and in prison and lose all of his government pay and be hit with millions of dollars in fines and never see the light of day again, my opinion. Leftists, listen to this, folks. Um, look, at, look at what they get away with. Uh, now, in this case, they didn't. Uh, it's only because he went over the top, but, you know, he'll probably be working again in no time. Leftist Wayne State professor suspended after writing that speakers invited by conservative students should be killed rather than shouted down. So no more shouting uh, at these college campuses when there's a conservative speaker there that the um, godless communists don't like. Let's go from shouting at them to just kill them. 
Uh, so he lost his um, a professor at Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan, has been suspended after social media post in which he appeared to abdic advocate for violence against those with opposing points of views brought to light. I believe the pay he's making $149,000 a year. Uh, this is what they're paying these people, folks. Six-figure incomes to indoctrinate America's kids. Um, you know what I say. If you want a good little socialist, send them to a public school. And then if you want a growing communist, send them to a state campus. Um, our... our Educational institutions were the greatest in the world at one time, but there are indoctrination camps of third world countries, uh, communist regimes uh, that, you know, uh, and then if they can't indoctrinate you, you know, they just eradicate you from the earth. And then uh, moving on here, a couple more folks I want to talk about um, this. Marine Corps chief warns his forces are at lowest levels in recent history, says amphibious fleet is just 35% of what's needed to keep China at bay in Pacific. Marines Commandment General David Berger testified before the Senate Appropriations Committee that military branch needs more amphibious ships. Berger said that the fleet was at 35% capacity of what was required for the U.S. to maintain both a military and humanitarian presence in the Pacific region. He said two decades of land-based conflicts had shifted the Marines' focus from sea-based combat uh, and that a branch, and that the branch should begin returning to those roots. I agree. Uh, you know, the Marine Corps used to have all of its own equipment, right? They had their tank division, uh, obviously as soldiers, um, Air, you know, their Marine Air Force and that. They, they've got rid of that. They took the tanks from the Marines. They don't, they don't have a tank division anymore. Um, none of this stuff would be happening under President Trump that wanted America to be strong and the leader of the free world like we always have been. But we have a regime in, you know, a rogue regime. I mean, America's occupied nation uh, that is doing everything to make America weak. Um, and... Um, ripe for the taking. Uh, and I just hope we can last long enough to fix this without going to war. Steve Cal Scalise blasts Biden energy policy. And I, I just share this headline because I, I think it's spot on. Um, Steve Calise, Scalise blasts Biden energy policy. He's not against oil. He's just against American oil. And you can see his little uh, floor display there. Where do we get our... Uh, oil, gas, and critical minerals from. Republicans, it's America. Democrats, it's uh, Russia, Iran, Venezuela, and China. Uh, Steve's a fighter. So here we go with the de-dollarization of, 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 of our fiat currency. Every fiat currency for every major country has failed. That wasn't backed by gold or silver. And we will be no different. Uh, it didn't have to happen, but they're just, you know, They've overprinted our money, uh, the Biden regime, but it's been going on through different, you know, Republican and Democrat um, administrations. So China and Brazil agree to ditch U.S. dollar for trade. China and Brazil have reached a deal that would allow the two nations to conduct trade directly using their own currencies, doing away the U.S. dollar as an intermediary. They're going to go with the Chinese yuan, uh, yuan, I guess you call it. Uh, Iraq to allow trade with China and Yuan. And this, Saudi Arabia, the headline will pop back up. Saudi Arabia reportedly, reportedly considering accepting Yuan instead of dollar for oil sales. Here's one. If the, sorry, folks, I had these pulled up, but every once in a while they got to refresh. Uh -uh. And if it will, if it won't, I'm going to move on. Uh, I'll give it two seconds. Okay, this this one, uh, this over at the Independent. Uh, sign of the times, folks, that we're living in. I mean, if you don't have a um, uh, concealed carry, you know, go go take gun classes, learn gun safety, uh, and maybe start um, carrying if you think that's in your best in best interest. This is in uh, Vancouver, uh, Canada. Fa or no, Vancouver, Washington, I think. Father stabbed to death at Vancouver Starbucks after asking man 
not to vape near his daughter, who was three years old. A 37-year-old father was fatally stabbed in front of his wife and young daughters at a Starbucks in Vancouver by a man now facing a murder charge. Paul Stanley Schmidt was attacked at a coffee shop at Pinder and Granville Streets after asking a man not to vape near his three-year-old daughter, the victim's mother told the Vancouver uh, Sun. Um, you know, terrible, right? Uh -uh. Wow. Let's see if this other article pulled up. It did, I think. Um, uh, Yuan, again, Chinese National Oil Company uh, in France. Uh, Chinese National Oil Company, CNOOC, in France's Total Energies, have completed China's first Yuan settled liquefied natural gas trade uh, through the Shanghai Petroleum and Natural Gas Exchange. So we're seeing the, um, uh, the end of the dollar empire. And um, it's just, um, it's the destruction of America uh, happening by an um, illegitimate regime um, that despises this country and embraces the CCP and um, godless communism and the destruction of the West. So um, my advice is, um, I get, I, I've been to the dentist like, uh, I don't know, not 10 times in my life, mostly four or five times when I was a kid. And then I, as I was growing up, I drank a gallon of vitamin D milk every day and like never had a cavity for 50 years, you know, really. And um, I had one, a filling, an old filling they had to remove a year ago. And it's kind of getting an air tooth. So I went in there today and um, the dentist said, well, it's that filling, quoting, that we bondoed up last time. That's been bondoed up twice. Yeah, one of them was a filling probably from when I was a kid. And then I went in last year. It fell out, actually. And I had a new one put in. So they, he says, you need a cap. So they, you know, ground my tooth off. I've got bone all in my mouth, spitting out bone. But um, dentistry has come a long ways. I mean, it, it didn't take long. And they ground my tooth out. They made a, a temporary cap. They put that in. And, you know, see you in two weeks when your uh, permanent cap here is here and we'll put it in. When I was a kid, I was frightened by dentist. I mean, I had nightmares over them because when I went there the first time, why, I don't know, but they have needles that are like two foot long uh, with this huge syringe and they're lined up on the table. And I thought, am I a um, victim in a horror movie? Is this what's going on? And it petrified me. And they take that huge needle, you know, to give you a little shot in your gum so they can work on your tooth. Um, but it's come a long way since then. Um, so I don't, I don't mind going to the dentist now. And I probably could have put this tooth off because it wasn't that bad. If I got air, some cold air, it would hurt a little bit. But I start thinking, you know, we're, we're heading into the apocalypse. And that's a prep. I'm, I can't get a root canal done during the apocalypse, or I mean a um, cap. Thank God I didn't need a root canal. Um, and I thought, you, you know, stuff like this, you might as well put the money out, fix it now. I think I spent 873 bucks today. Um, but my teeth are going to be fine during the zombie apocalypse. So um, I think you take care of stuff like that. I went and got my physical, got my blood work done. Uh, for the first time, my sugar level is almost, you know, uh, out to where it's a problem. And uh, I know that's just because I've been heavy and I'm, I'm losing weight, folks. I'm actually doing really good on my diet. Renee and I are walking, you know, two to three miles a day. Uh, I eat breakfast and maybe I'll have something else during the day, but um, that's about it. And uh, I'm into getting shape. I mean, that, that is a prep. You know, that is one of the big preps. You, you, you got to be in shape, folks, for when the, uh, as Canadian Prepper says, the shizzy hits the fizzy. So um, keep an eye on things. You know, the world is a dumpster fire. It, unfortunately, believe it's going to get much worse before it gets better. Much, much worse. I mean, I'm my New Year's uh, predictions for 2023 were the Greatest Depression in World War III. And um, I have seen nothing to convince me otherwise. So um, keep prepping and keep praying, my friends. 
Folks, let, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you and keep you and your family safe and your friends. I will see you in the next video. Sons of Liberty out.